So a while back I made a video about technical certs and I feel that I may have misspoken and I feel that I may have talked about things that aren't necessarily my area of expertise. I feel like I made a mistake. It's official. You can call this my first apology video. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! And I want to apologize to the people who may have come across that video and got a little bit of bad information from me. And if you didn't see that video, I was basically saying how you don't really need technical certs. And I kind of talked poorly about technical certs. In this video, I'm going to tell you why I don't think technical certifications are worth it. And I'm going to give you some pointers on what you should do if you're trying to become a designer, a hacker, a programmer, or a network engineer instead of trying to get your certifications. And I went off and talked about other areas that weren't really something that I should have been talking about because I just didn't know well enough. I myself, before I set out to learn how to code, went down the path of getting technical certs and I wanted to go down the route of networking and I had completed my A plus and I got my certification for that. And then I started working towards my net plus and my security plus and I was going to work to the CCNA Cisco certs and I was going to go down that route and I ended up learning how to code. In this video, I kind of said how, you know, you don't really need those certs. They're not a guarantee to get you a job and while some of that stuff is true the truth is that in those areas such as networking or security having those certs is way more beneficial than certificates for software development a lot of the certs that i think i was trying to touch on were certs that come from different resources like Coursera or certs from different courses that you may find on Udemy or that you might find on some learning to code websites and not so much certs that are actually industry standards and certs that you do kind of need if you want to get into that field. I'm still going to stick by it's really, really hard to get a job just on certs alone, but in some of those areas that do require certs as a path, you might need them. But when it comes to software development, and this is where I stand on this hill to die, I do not think that having specific certs from any particular curriculum that you may have studied will help you get a job. And this goes true for every cert that is just like, hey, you completed this nano degree or hey, you completed this front end development cert, like those Google certs that are for UX designers and project managers and data analysts. The Google career certificate has given me the skills and the confidence to excel in this role. I recently completed a Google career certificate in IT support. After graduating from the Google program, it took me about a month to land a job at Emphasis. Thanks to my Google career certificate, I've completed real projects in SQL and R programming. I've recently completed a Google career certificate, which has equipped me with the technical skills to pivot my career and become a UX designer. And now you have Meta that offers a course that's gonna give you a certificate and claiming that they're gonna get you a job. No matter who it comes from, if it's from Google, if it's from Meta, if it's from Coursera, if it's from Codecademy, if it's from Free Code Camp, if it's from the Odin Project, I don't think they're gonna be much more than just a talking point at an interview for someone who is inexperienced. And if you're experienced, those certs probably mean less because no one's really going to look at that. They're going to look at your job history. But when you're someone who's new and you're getting started and you see these certs and you see these big names and you see these companies like Google and Facebook and all these big companies that are putting their name behind these things as a marketing tactic to get you to sign up for a particular course that they're making a profit from, it's not right. And I don't like that. And that's what I really wanted to talk about. And I feel that I wanted to be more specific about that and really, really let people know in this video that I don't believe in any cert that puts a stamp of approval. I don't think that LinkedIn assessments are any good. I don't think any of those things are good because the truth is the LinkedIn assessments, I've done them and I've done them pretty much live. You can cheat through them. You can Google the stuff. And the same goes for a lot of those other ones. You can study something just enough to get a certification when it comes to a lot of these developer certs. And when you approach it that way, you're not really absorbing the information. It's just like a brain dump. The free code camp curriculum, for example, right, which they offer a certificate at the end of that that says that you complete it. If you work through that curriculum, but you speed through it, you just try to just get all the errors resolved and pass everyone, and then you, you do the bare minimum on the projects, just 
to say like, hey, I completed it, and you get that certificate, I can tell you this, that it's, it's not gonna be as impactful as it would be if you went through that curriculum and you took your time to understand everything and you did all those projects as good as you could and you made them as nice as possible and you tried to make sure that they worked and you put your blood, sweat, and tears into those projects and you actually learned and you build all the things you're supposed to build, that's what's really gonna matter, not the certificates from any of these resources. So don't fall for the trap of thinking that the cert's gonna be enough. What you really need is to prove that you're able to do the job and a cert will never do that. And it may be enough to get you into a help desk job if you get your CompTIA A+, but it's not gonna be enough to become a developer if you complete some course on Coursera and you get a cert from Google or if you get a cert from Meta or a cert from any of these other companies that are starting to sell them. And just keep that in mind. And that's all I really wanted to do. I wanted to kind of clear that up because I feel bad that I may have misinformed some people, but I still stand by what I said about the developer certs. Just go out there, build your projects, build your portfolio, and get a job that way. Don't, don't try to rack up a bunch of certs because you're gonna look stupid when you get interviewed and you have all these different certs that you've gotten from all these different online learning resources and you can't even do a FizzBuzz or lay out a basic web page. All right, with all that said, my first official apology video is done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Sorry. I'm sorry. 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 Sorry.